Blending different types of food in a single appetizing dish is easily performed in the microwave oven. So, due to the success of the microwave series, the agents for microwave renegotiated is now one microwave and two guys. I'm Anthony. This is Joe. And we review microwavable meals with our microwave. I'm wearing pants. Today we have a guest bon vivant. His name is Foster. Foster Ryan. Dr. Foster Ryan actually uh, he's a doctor of Asian medicine, acupuncture, and herbology. That's a mouthful, Joe. It's true. What do you have to say, microwave? I didn't think so. Okay. So let's bring in Foster right now with his meal, which we are very excited to see what it is. It's a big surprise to us. <laughs> what do you got for us, Foster? I've got some fine banquet boneless pork riblet Woo! meal. Riblet. Riblet. Let's get this going while you guys discuss <clears throat> amongst yourselves. So Foster, what do you think about the packaging? I think it's beautiful and it reminds me of a long time ago. I would say it's a good source of protein. I'm not sure I would say it's a source of good protein. Uh, no, is there a difference? No, I mean, it's meat. Okay, it's protein. It, and it's something nice to say on the package. So I you can't find, like, it. Would, do you find that attractive, that picture? Is it attractive to you? Would you like the, to get with it? Um, the glazy part makes me think there's like a goopy sauce or something. Right. That's, goopy sauce. Would you get jiggy with a with a goopy sauce? Is the question. Nothing's got a groove like a cow. <laughs> Moo. But That's it's right. pork. Now it says must be cooked thoroughly. That makes me think that maybe it's not already cooked. What do you think? That's nice to think of. Let's play doctor, shall we? I'm going to read off a couple of ingredients, and you tell me what you think as a doctor. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a good experience, Anthony, with a banquet meal so far on the show? Not even off the show. And there's a limit to how hot the temperature gets, and then it doesn't damage. Hold Microwave! That thought. Hold that thought. We have to fork the potatoes. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I got a waft. I got a waft. It smells like... Um, what like, I remember what's, what's most this? about these meals is that one part would be solid ice and one part would burn a hole through your mouth. Right. <laughs> I think... I think... I mostly remember the apple treat part. <laughs> now this one does not have a dessert. That's that's an improvement. We've got uh, we've got almost ten seconds left. So nine. Let's make the most of those ten seconds. So let's agree right now. I would recommend that uh, you don't make too much of a habit of eating these things. But if you're going to skip food, then microwave. Food food skip. Skip. Hey. Oh. Let's plate it. That's. <laughs> Foodie talk, oh, or let's on. put it on a plate. Oh, yeah, okay, that's... Here we go. I'm not sure you want to take it out right. of the case. Holy Lord, it's bubbly. It's very bubbly. Okay, I wanna... And I bet there's ice in the potatoes. Stuff. I want to do the wafting soon. I like the wafting part oh, of the I like show. the smell. It smells so good so It far. smells barbecue-y. Wow. Okay, now let's... That let's looks so natural. Give that a smell and to tell us what you're smelling. What are, the, what are the things you smell in there? What spices do you smell, or...? Actually, it does smell all right. I don't see the, the, the division. Flip it over. No, it has. Oh, oh, this is upside down. Look at this. These yeah. are the actual bones. I like the word jiggy. I want to bring it back. I, oh, God. Jiggy. Get jiggy with it. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, I'm going to put right. Here we go. The potatoes really aren't bad. I'm going to give them credit. They, they have a plasticky. It, it really, you know what it tastes like? It's a cream of wheat. The corn tastes like poorly uh, new corn, but they actually said oh, the corn is gross. It's they like, oh. sent a scientist into the lab and said, "Come out with smoke flavor." And I'm less critical over this. You're eating us! Oh my god! It tastes like the crap stuff I could only afford when I was in college. It reminds me of that. Stuff. Now, did you have the meat? Did you eat the meat yet? No, I'm about to go to that. All right, take a bite of the meat. Let's take a look. Yeah, tell this. me what you think of that sauce. I don't, like, I don't like the manufactured smoke. The meat, Liquid not smoke. so meaty. I'll get the potatoes. Actually, they're remotely you know, vaguely it's all right. It's not as bad as the spaghetti dinner. No, the, the corn definitely needs butter on it and some salt and pepper. Yeah, but no, I'm, getting, I'm getting 
Well, I think the you know the the, the meat is very bready, so it, there's a lot of bread in it. It's a lot of yeah. like, filler. Uh, that's filled with filler. But it's not unpleasant no. in flavor. It's just the kind barbecue of, sauce is 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 painful. They're all right. I, I mean, don't I think say they're bad. I don't think there's anything comedically inspiring the, the about thing this. Is, yeah, I, I just I don't want to eat more than just the tiniest amount of it. But I, I feel did, like I've been standing online in the USSR for bread <laughs> for five hours, yeah. waiting. And it sucked all of it, and everything is gray. Thank you well, so much it. for coming and visiting us on this gray day. We will see you next time. We're a microwave and two guys, and our guest, Bon Vivant, tell them who you are. Foster Ryan. Nice. Bye, Foster. And the sparrow yeah. cheese. A savory combination in just 10 minutes. Yeah. I actually kind of like the potato. They just taste like. I know you really like the potato. Joe was like licking the potato.